and a welcome. Today we are going to see how we can install from scratch the latest version of EMGU CV or how can we update from previous versions into the latest version of EMGU CV that is 4.4.0. So let's see. Before creating a project, I would like to show you what is the latest version of EMGU CV. We can search EMGU CV and go to EMGUCV.com. And also we can check, since this is a refer for OpenCV, we are going to search for OpenCV.org and see what is the latest version of OpenCV. So here we can go to the releases and we can see that the latest version is 4.4.0, which is updated in July. So uh, we can check uh, in the main page that although this one shows the latest news shows that this 4.3 is available. And somehow this latest news section will be updated soon, I guess. When I click on this one, we will go to the page. And when you scroll up, the good news is that the EMGU CV 4.4.0 is also available. Its documentation is also available. I will show you in a moment, but this one says coming soon. And we need to check the changes. What are some different changes? You can just check that this is the latest version for OpenCV 4.4. And the rest, you can see one of the most important things that I see, I want to just highlight them. If you look here, that if we want to work with bitmap images that we want to convert between EMGU CV and the bitmap, then we need to install this EMGU CV dot bitmap NuGet. And also we must notice that this CV dot platform dot net framework DLLs as well as platform.net core frameworks have been moved to mgucv.ui NuGet. So if you are using any of the user interface elements, you need to install this package also separately. And uh, along with OpenCV, we need to install this NuGet package separately if you want to work with the conversion between these two. And the rest you can check yourself uh, what are some updates if you are following along. So with this in mind, we can go and install EMGU CV from scratch in a new project. So I'm going to create a new project. I want to select a Windows Forms application and you can see I'm selecting the .NET framework and I'm saying EMGU CV 4.4 demo. And let me select the latest .NET framework and I'm going to create it. Okay, the project is ready. So when we go to EMGU CV and if we go to download and install, you can see the recommended option is using the NuGet package manager. And we will just search for this EMGU CV dot runtime. I'm just going to copy it. And since it has dependency on EMGU CV as well, so it will install the required packages for us. So let's go and make things easier. So right click on your project and manage NuGet packages. And since I don't have installed package right now, I will be clicking on the browse and I'm going to search for emgucv.runtime. And since I'm using the Windows uh, and I'm not using the CUDA version, so I'm going to install this one. If you are working with the CUDA version, then you must install the CUDA supported version. So this is the runtime that I'm going to install. And you need to check that what is the latest version of this one. And also its dependencies that this is uh, EMGU, uh, its dependencies EMGU.CV, it should be greater than or equal to 4. Point, and it will also automatically install this EMGU.CV. So I'm going to click on install. So I'm going to accept. So there is no any error right now in the error list. So it means that it has successfully downloaded in, into my project folder and I can use it. As I also mentioned that um, apart from this mgu.cv.platform, we also need to work with the bitmap. 
So I also need to install emgu.cv.bitmap if I want to work with the bitmaps. So uh, I'm going to write here emgu.cv.bitmap and I'm going to select this one. One thing also you should notice for EMGU CV that the authors should be EMGU Corporation and I'm going to install it. The latest version, I accept. Okay, it is also installed. So that is, that's it uh, to install the your EMGU CV in your project. You just need these two packages. And uh, let us test by loading a simple image and I'm going to add a simple button here, not all windows. A button and followed by a simple picture box. Okay, and maybe I can change its size mode to auto size. And when I click on this button, I just want to display a simple image. So double click on that. So I just want to show this one and uh, try cage exception. And if there is any exception, we can show it in the message box. The message string path of the image that I just copied it and edited it to make it like a flat string. And now before using it, you need to use this import statement using mgu dot cv using mgu dot cv dot structures okay and now let's read it image it's a color image so bgr and the depth is in bytes img is equal to new and this one is expecting a path so this one will read it and we can display it in picture box dot image is equal to img dot to bit name okay and now let's test it okay so let us click on the show image so this is working perfectly fine so this is how you install it in a very new project and since I'm working on an existing project and I'm sharing this project with you uh, on the GitHub as well. So let me show you on the GitHub. This is EMGU CV 4.X. I have written X so that the latest version will be. So this is the demo that a uh, project that I have shared already with you. So I'm going to update the EMGU CV to 4.4 as well. So here I was working with 4.2. So to update an existing uh, project from previous version of EMGU CV to a latest version, we can just right click on it, go to manage NuGet packages. And in this case, I'm going to the installed and here you can see that 4.2 I have used and this is also using 4.2. Either you can update any of them because that it already knows the dependency. I'm just going to click on emgu.cv and I'm going to select the latest stable version 4.4. And now you can see the dependencies here on which it is depending. And also you can check with this one the latest version is 4.4 and its dependencies and all like this. So anyways, whichever you want to do, I'm just going to click on this and I click on the update. And here it will be, it is going to update these packages even with their Windows uh, runtime as well. So I accept. Okay, so uh, as I expected that we will have some errors and uh, since updation to a latest version is not so simple. And the first thing that I see is uh, there is, I use UI 
and it says that it doesn't exist so let me double click on that and as i have already not used it and so i'm just going to delete this one to fix the error but if you are using any of the ui controls of emg ucv you just need to go and uh, install the ui separately so emgu so you can see here emgu.cv and this is a very separate package we just need to install it so i i'm not using any of the controls are the components provided by UI, so I'm not going to install it. So if you are using, for example, with the previous version and you need to do it, then you might need to install this one or update this one as well. Okay, I fixed the first error and still I have 45 errors. Basically these 45 errors is I have also shown you that if you want to make conversion between the image and the bitmap, there is no support right now, so I need I need to add a separate package. So I'm just going to add that package, and that package name is emgucv.bitmap. And I hope once I install it, the errors of the conversion, since I frequently use to bitmap, uh, so I'm just going to install it. I'm going to I accept. Okay, so almost these errors have gone and only two errors are left. So let me see where I use this histogram viewer. Ah, okay, so it means I have used this UI and uh, emgucv.ui. If you have used this histogram viewer, which is part of basically the user interface of emgucv, now I need to install that UI. So I'm going to manage NuGet package managers Instead of bitmap, I'm just going to install UI. Okay, check that its author is MGU Corporation and I'm going to install it. I accept. And now uh, it is giving the error. The only thing that we need is Maybe I just deleted that reference, I remember. Okay, so you just need to use this emgu.cv.ui. And there is one more error that I have here. What is this error? And a histogram box does not contain a definition of and a no accessible extension aid accepting a first argument of type so let me fix this issue now i think we are using this generate histogram method instead of add histogram so let me build it so the build succeeded so if you are upgrading from the existing version into the latest version of emgu cv you might need to have a change a little bit in your code because the overall structure of the emgu cv is changing and so that is how we up upgraded uh, the EMGU CV to the latest version. And I also shown you how we can install the latest version. Installing the latest version was very simple, but when we are upgrading, we might need some, uh, we might face some issues. So I also fixed those issues and I will also push this project into the GitHub. So you can use uh, the latest version of EMGU CV and uh, thank you so much and I hope to see you in another video.